pretty busy road but I'm just going to show you basically how to remove a battery that I'm not going to remove it because I've removed it already it's a pain in the backside but I'm just going to show you how to remove a, ba um, a battery in a BMW 1 series and even 3 series um, safely so the battery for 3 series normally is under there this isn't there it's, and it's underneath the ground there because normally in a 3 series this is normally in, is normally around there and underneath there is a tray and it's underneath there but on, in 1 series they are underneath this under this uh, underneath and as you can probably tell it's too much bloody noise you can hear I hope you can hear me if you can't oh well I'm sorry so what do you do on a, on removing a um, battery from a one series? First of all, you have to remove this here. You have to remove that there, and underneath this, you just pull it out. There's another one of those underneath here. You have to get the, those out. And then, what I would do after that, personally. You have to get something like this, this extension, and reach down, I'll point it, reach to that, um, that screw there, to lift this, because this is effectively holding the battery in. Then there's a little thing here, I don't know if you can see it from there, as you can probably see, that lets the air into the battery. You have to unplug that, just get it like a, um, a flathead screwdriver and just pop it out or be careful and wiggle it out very carefully so you don't damage it. Then once you've got these out and that and that once you've got that thing out, that down there out and this out, you can basically there's a little thing underneath here. It's, um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, down here. See that there's a little uh, metal thing down there. You gotta get another a flatter screwdriver again and just prod it out to get there actually better just about there that little above my fingernails a little thing you've got to basically um flick it up and the same one on this side it releases this whole mechanism it releases this from the whole thing you have to undo that for this first this terminal first just lo loosen it up nicely and then you can wedge it off but obviously once you, once you've wedged it off you've got to unscrew it this this thing here this this um earth um cable then once all that's off you have to take this bit off here so that so that one comes off first with that and then this one um for the battery and then once that's up that's off that's off, this is out, These, this thing is off and the screw underneath is off, that screw is off, bolt is off. Actually get these handles here, this handle here on the battery, as well, there's another one underneath this, you can actually just lift it out. Then you can clean underneath it and or change to another battery and then to put it back in, you have to reverse all that. I. This is what you should do is you put that back on and screw it up so it will not move. Then I put that on first, just because why not? Then I screw that up, put that on nicely, and then tap it in there so it's secure. Then I. Then I put this this pipe back in into the side of the hole here then I put that back in that that um, screw looking thing that screw there back in with this extension then I put obviously this screw before you screw that up pop it down if you do two clicks one there and one there you got either dink and dink You'll hear that happen. Screw it up, screw it up, and screw this one in, screw this one in, and then slide this in back in like that. You have to slide it, you don't pull it and pop it out, you've got to slide it out and slide it back in. 
because it has like sliders on either side so you slide it in and slide it off it's a bit hard but don't break it but you know whatever um, and you may wonder once it's all done and you're happy you will find that the clock on your car needs, needs re resetting basically because it does take the clock off and, and I bought these believe it or not this and I bought those for my ratchets my socket set for four pounds that's four pounds and then you've got a nice covered new battery basically and I hope you can't you can hear me but um, if you can't I'm sorry but like I said this fucking road is shit and I'm sick to death of it if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, check out LGI clothing on Instagram and uh, yeah see you soon let's get it bye bye